Today marks 18 years since Hurricane Katrina. The catastrophic flooding was due to the failures of federal levees and flood walls. We have Sandy Rosenthal, the founder of levees.org, joining us now to discuss the next generation of engineers and the importance of learning from the past. Sandy, thank you so much for joining us. So tell me a little bit about that because I found uh, your email so interesting. The next generation of engineers needs to be learning about the mistakes that were made. They do, and they're not right now. It isn't standard procedure in the engineering colleges for students to be exposed to past engineering mistakes. I mean, how else are you going to learn? Right. And the frightening thing is the same mistakes are being made over and over. And you were telling me that there actually was a push in the 90s for engineering students to start learning from past engineering mistakes, not just levy mistakes, but uh, building, bridges, things that had happened in the past, and that initiative failed. So it failed. What's different about what's coming up? What's different about now is we have here, right here in the city of New Orleans, the site of the worst engineering disaster in the history of the country, and that's according to the experts. So the campaign is going to begin here. Mm -hmm. We are going to start a ground up initiative, and we are going to go to the colleges uh, with all of the support and say, you need to make this change because the students of today are going to be building the structure 20 years from now. And I find it fascinating as we are talking about STEM, you know, to our, our children, it's a big push right now to push children to these science, engineering, technology, math fields. But if they're just learning the new stuff and not learning what happened in the past, that could be really problematic. We certainly don't want to repeat our old mistakes. Absolutely not. And there's, there's, it's a history course. And the facts aren't going to change. It's a very simple thing to do. It's just that we need to create a world where the colleges must teach students about engineering failure uh, in order for them to graduate, in order for the college to be accredited. And it would be sort of a prerequisite to that graduation. Exactly. Interesting. Well, um, not to scare folks, because our, our levees now are much different than they were in 2005. Can you tell me a little bit about the structure of our levees and how it's different? Sure. The uh, levees, this is the system that we should have had 18 years ago before right. Hurricane Katrina arrived. Much better system. We've got resilience. If a, if a levee breaks here, the, the whole system's not going to go down. Much, much different, much better. Is it perfect? No. For just a couple more feet of height, of levee height, along the Lake Pontchartrain, we could have had, the city of New Orleans could have had 500, 1,000 year protection. But it could still be done. So it's not too late for... No possibly additions to our levee system for even more protection as we know um, you know flooding rains storm surge all of those things going up um, we may need that protection in the next 50 to 100 years. And it'll be a great job for those future students coming in. That's right. So not only will they be learning about the past mistakes, but obviously these students are learning about all the new things uh, that can be done. Sandy, thank you so much uh, for joining us this morning. You know, coming up, we are going to be getting a look at those fillets, those finished fillets from Chef Frank Brightson.